As an archivist artist, interior designer or architect, I think at some point you have faced the challenge of having to deal with complex software and spending a lot of time getting your job done or maybe it is a job for a client, especially under deadlines. But have you thought of making your interior design projects in a way that is less tedious and time consuming? Well, I think you will be amazed by the software called Koha because it can create a living space that looks realistic in a short period of time. In a nutshell, Cohome is a fantastic all-in-one cloud-based interior design platform aimed specifically at interior designers, architects, and archivist artists, and even students to easily bring their design ideas to life in a way that is both simple but also powerful at the same time with what feels like an endless number of templates and tools that Cohome provides. And I think what is important for you to know is that this software helps you create floor plans, 3D decorations and furniture, in addition to using PBR materials, and even it allows you to render your project and create realistic photos all in a few short clicks. All of this thanks to its huge library of assets that can help you create any project fast and with ease. But this is not everything because we're just getting started. The first comparison that would come to mind when trying Cohome is the usual contenders. I mean, software like SketchUp or 3ds Max. And while these are industry standard, I think people might prefer something that is faster in a simple and neat package. And it does the job very quickly without all the technical stuff. Also, there is the issue of pricing as Cohome is very competitive when it comes to pricing, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. So let's check out Cohome and see what the fuss is all about. So, right off the bat, Cohome is an online platform, which is great. For me personally, I would like to carry my work everywhere I go. This is possible because everything you will do will be on the cloud. And this is what we call software as a service. And this model gives it many advantages. First of all, you can access the software from anywhere and anytime you want. Secondly, you don't need a good rig to run the software because all the heavy lifting is done on a remote server. So all you need to have is a stable internet connection. To start using Cohome, you can do so for free by navigating to cohome.com or by clicking the first link in the description, which will bring you to Cohome homepage. Here you can check some of the major features in addition to sample designs and useful links. If you're looking for a fast and easy to use home design software in 2024, you should definitely try Cohome for the simple fact that it has already attracted 10 million plus interior designers worldwide and hundreds of thousands of projects rendered daily. Now all you need to do is hit start for free to register and log in to your account. Your workspace holds all your old and new projects, in addition to team, renders, and personal library which means basically everything you need. Now, under the projects folder, you can create a new project by clicking new project with a big plus sign. This will create a new project and put you inside the software. Here we can see the first thing that I like about Cohome, the new project window. I know this is very inconsequential, but I wanna point out some stuff. It offers you multiple options, one of which is picking one of many available room templates or styles. You can import a cat file, import images, and even search a library of floor plan designs. And it goes without saying that these designs can be adjusted as you see fit, or pick one of the already made room design projects. But if you want to start with a clean slate, you can just hit draw. And now we finally arrive to the software. A bit anticlimactic, I know, but please bear with me. This is the UI. You can get your file, save, in addition to undo and clear buttons at the top as well as some useful tools and export options. On the left, you have a bunch of assets and building structures that you can incorporate into your floor plan. The public library in particular is a great place to populate your designs. It has hundreds upon hundreds of assets and bundles with furniture, sofas, chairs, windows, doors, you name it. Anything that can fit in a room. On the left, there is the material and component tool which is a separate tool that allows you to adjust materials in a different editor. There is also an AI tool 
which is in beta at the moment, which allows you to iterate between interior designs fast. So you can pick up some parameters and the AI will generate a series of designs that you can start with. These designs aren't just walls, but rather a fully flashed apartment with all furniture, windows, and layout with creating a livable space in mind. I didn't try this too much, but it looks promising. Next you have your workspace in the middle. You can switch between 3D and 2D views by using the dedicated button at the bottom of the screen. On the right, depending on what you got selected, it is gonna be a properties tab to adjust any current selected component settings like height, width, distance from the ground, location, rotation, textures, and so on. On your 2D floor plan view, you can grab a wall or room structure and start laying out the design of your interior. You can add walls, stairs, doors, sliding or double doors, or maybe windows, and you can also add holes, columns, beams, and much more. What I like about this approach is that you can see the results in real time, and you can switch between 2D and 3D very easily if you want to inspect your design, which can happen often. While trying to go home to build an interior, I couldn't help it but notice as a Blender user for many years how easy it is compared to Blender. Granted, when you think of Blender, interior design isn't honestly the first thing that comes to mind. So I think the next time I will be working on some interior design projects, Co-Home will be the first to come to mind. It is very easy to cut doors and windows or adjust the whole layout, non-destructively that is. Lastly, I want to talk about rendering. Co-Home allows you to render images as well as videos with a ton of control over aspect ratio, quality, and format. In addition to camera animations and movements, including 360 walkthrough panoramas and one scene 3D view, you can pan, rotate, and position your camera in the scene exactly as you want. There is an interactive tutorial within the software to guide you exactly how you want to do this, so you are not going to be lost. Either way, once you are satisfied with the result and with the camera position, you hit generate, which will start rendering your image. For the quality, it can output two, four, 8 and up to 16k resolution and you will find all your images under the gallery folder. Now when it comes to pricing, even though you can use most of the essential features using a free account, there are a ton of advanced features and tools that come with the premium account. The pro subscription usually goes for $28 monthly and as low as $15 if you choose to pay yearly. But at the last moment, before the release of this video, literally at the last second, Cohome announced their new pricing in accordance with celebrating 10 million users worldwide. So now, the pro monthly subscription goes for just $9.9 for a short time only. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. In the end, I want to point out that Cohome has a desktop app that you can install if you prefer to use it that way. Also, there is much more of the software and more features that we didn't include here. But this should give you an idea that this is something you might want to pick up. Also, if you use the link in the description or use the code InspirationTouch at checkout, you can get 70% off of your first purchase. So yeah, this was Cohome. If you are an architect, interior designer, or 3D artists in general, check out Cohome from the first link in the description and let us know what you think in the comment section down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.